What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode of Kicking It With Moats. And ladies and gents, the weather is finally breaking for the boy. So that means I can finally get back out there on the golf course. Y'all know how I feel about that. But more importantly, if we gonna talk about getting back out there, you know I gotta have me some fresh heat. So hit that like button one time for the culture and don't forget to subscribe because I gotta talk about my newest purchase. Little Air Jordan 9, low, golf, okay? But more importantly, that white, black, and true red. So as you can see the box, all black, the classics, okay? Little paperwork on the inside, nothing crazy. Okay, you got traditional Nike golf card in there as well. But now let's talk about these things, man. Cause number one, I'm a big fan of them, right? For a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, man, love the Jordan 9, right? The silhouette as a whole. We know MJ getting buckets in it. More importantly, when it went to the cool gray look, that's when you got a chance to see him, obviously, um, you know, doing things down there with the Wizards as well, man. But it's a dope shoe. It was obviously in Space Jam as well. If you know, you know. You caught them in them joints, all right? But uh, fire Jordan 9 right here. Now, as the low, you see where we get the chop off, okay? But fire because you still get that 23 on the back all right now we know some of the new jordan 9s that are releasing that carolina blue they ain't got that douche tray on the back and it kind of is a hot button all right people are back and forth on if they like this shoe if it's legitimate or not we know the oog the original one that jordan had on didn't have that 23 on the back but every single release that they done pretty much since has had 23 on the back all right so it kind of matters kind of matters but more importantly, man, whenever you're talking about the Jordan 9, the big uh, step or the big sticking point or the big thing that kind of shows the most is that patent leather mud guard that goes all the way around the shoe. Okay. And then you still get that patent leather on the back side. Typically on the high it would come all the way up, but this is the low. So you see where it stops at. All right. And then you got that nice bold contrast on the body of the shoe right on the side panels and you see just a little indents right let's give it a little flavor a little color on it still leather nothing crazy okay so in terms of being able to clean it i like this a lot better than my suede golf shoes because suede when it's raining eh, not the best or when it has rained in the past couple of days like it does a lot here in pennsylvania okay but these are clean for that now as you can see on the bottom we got that true golf spike, okay? Not like some of the Air Jordan 1s that are golf shoes where it's, you know, just essentially a glorified tennis shoe with a little bit more nub. That was part of the reason why when the Travis Scotts, right, those golf shoes release, dudes could get them and still wear them as regular sneakers. These, you got legit grip. So, in terms of a guy like me who plays in the Pittsburgh area, yeah this is gonna give me that grip so that way i don't bust my tail i have seen that happen not me but i've seen it happen to others it's not a good look shout out to them though okay but big bold jordan on the bottom that white black and true red colorway shows perfectly ogs oh, just the way that we like them and then even on the inside get your jordan and golf okay in terms of that branding as well man but clean sneaker, nonetheless, clean golf shoe, excuse me on that, nonetheless called a sneaker. Cause like I said, I love my J's, man. Cause it looks just like, that's why I gotta have these things, man, all right? So uh, yeah, man, you guys let me know your thoughts though on the Jordan 9 low, uh, white, black, and true red golf shoes. If you're digging them, did you get a pair? They also had the cool grays. Oh, just didn't have my size, that's the only problem. The cool grays are fire too but let me know your thoughts though on the uh air jordan 9 low golf shoes man if you like them what's your thoughts on them and uh if you actually got a pair as well like i said they just released um yeah this colorway was this weekend but these been out now in terms of the jordan 9 i want to say february they released them so like i said man still might have been able to go either got you a pair or go back and get you a delayed dub like some of us do okay but uh either way let me know your thoughts on these golf shoes and more importantly are y'all ready to see your boy break a hundred? Are y'all ready to see me break a hundred out there on the golf course? 
But either way, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, rock your heat. Ah, holla.